I am just an absolute mess right now. I don't know what's going on. Hey babes, it's Lilith. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This angle is not ideal. Super aware of that. I filmed this video once already, really proper, all up on a light kit and everything, and then I looked back at it and I just felt so deep in hatred with the video. <laughs> Ugh, I hated it. I, could, I couldn't do it. I was just like, mm, no. I'm sorry that posting here has been really insane. Um, my mental health is at such a low right now <laughs> that I'm, I'm not even sure that I'm all the way up for filming a video right now, but I missed you guys and wanted to make a video. So right now I just literally have my TV on a white screen and you guys are leaning up against my television. I just, I, <laughs> I'm so mentally unstable right now. I hope you guys aren't suffering because of my insanity right now. My poor sweet children of the night, what sweet music they make. In this house, we quote Dracula when we can't even remember to take our meds on time. I'm completely joking, I took my meds on time. So right now I am a bit of a mess. I got halfway through a stress clean before I gave up and stopped carrying enough. So all of the clothes that I own are currently on my bed. It's literally midnight and I haven't eaten dinner. And I slept for 14 hours last night because I'm so inhumanly tired. And I have to go to PT tomorrow, which is gonna be really interesting for them. So this is the version that you guys are getting of me today. So as you can tell by the title, because I took forever to get through the intro of the video, today we are talking about another reality shifting method. We are talking about the pillow method today. Pillow, you are my only friend, Pillow. I broke up with Pillow. I told you, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go through the pillow method today. It's kind of a short method to explain, so it's gonna be kind of a short video in retrospect when compared to my other shifting videos, which if you haven't seen my other shifting videos, I'm gonna leave the playlist below. So let's get into it. I would like to start off this video with a disclaimer of saying that you do not necessarily need a method to shift realities and that not every method is going to work for every person like it does for everybody else. So there may be other methods that you yourself enjoy or respond to or you may like no method at all and that's completely fine but this is an explanation of the pillow method this is my second method that i am going to cover the first one that i covered was the raven method because it's pretty popular and the pillow method is one of the other easiest ones especially for beginners probably because it involves the least amount of work and pretty much no visualization all you really need for this is a pillow and your script the pillow method, like the raven method, is a sleep method. But the thing that I like to preface when telling people about the pillow method is I like to consider the pillow method more of an add-on method rather than a main method, but it can be used as a main method. What I mean about it being an add-on method is that it's something you can easily do along with whatever method you are doing. I myself have done the pillow method along with the Raven method. I have also done it along with the ADHD method and the Estelle method and the Julia method. It can be easily added on to whatever you're doing should you want to add it on to anything or you could just do it I can't speak. Or you could just use it as a method all by itself. But I've never actually met anybody who has fully shifted using just the pillow method. That is just a preface before you try this. So pretty much what you do with the pillow method is you have to have a physical copy of your script. I would not suggest doing this if your script is on your phone. I would suggest either printing it out or writing it out by hand because putting your phone under your pillow could cause damage to the phone or catch a fire or something. So I would suggest that you either take the time to write it down or you take the time to print it off on your computer and then read the script out like you usually would before bed if you like doing sleep methods. Then you will take your script or the notebook that your script is in, whatever it is, and you will either put it under your pillow or in your pillowcase. Then after you have done that, you will lay in whatever position you want to, whether it's a comfortable position you usually sleep in or if you're the kind of person that you like to sleep in starfish because it helps you focus, whatever. Lay in whatever position you want to and make sure that your head is over where the script is. And then while you're falling asleep, you will be thinking about your DR. If you want to visualize, you can. If you don't want to or you're not good at it, I totally just spit everywhere. If you don't want to or you're not good at it, then feel free to just skip the visualization part and just be thinking about your DR and your loved ones from your DR, details from it, and repeating your affirmations to yourself while you're falling asleep. And then you're supposed to wake up in your DR. I've tried just the pillow method 
And quite honestly, if I had to give it a rating out of five stars alone, just the pillow method, not as an add-on, I would give one star. I would give it zero stars if I could. It's It doesn't really do anything for me. It might work for other people, but me personally, in my experience, it never did anything for me. I got no symptoms. I did not shift with it, nothing. But it is a good thing to add on to because pretty much all you have to do is just put it in your pillow. And then that in itself is the method after reading the script. So it makes it really easy to add on to because whatever method you're doing, all you have to do is read the script before you do it and then put the script in your pillow and then do whatever else you're doing. That made it really easy for me when I was doing this and the Raven method because I would already read my script before doing the Raven method. And then the only thing I would do differently is instead of putting it back in a drawer somewhere, I would put it in my pillowcase and then do my spread eagle position and do my counting and all that, which makes it easy to do because any method that you're doing while you're like laying down or you're sleeping, whatever, it's easy to just put it into your pillowcase. As an add-on, I think I would probably put it at a two or three, not necessarily because I'm like, oh, this helps, but like because it's easy to add on to and it convinces my brain I'm doing more than one method. I'm doing multiple things for it. And I'm the kind of person that because I have, you know, mental stuff that makes it so I have to have like a pattern and using no methods or just pillow method kind of stuff doesn't do anything for me. I feel like when I have steps to go through, it helps distract my brain and helps me to shut off the left side of my brain. So having this is a really easy add-on, but it's also never brought me any real results. You could be different or anybody else who tries this method could be different. If you've done the pillow method before and it's worked for you on its own, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious if anybody's ever actually done just the pillow method and gotten there before. But I suggest this more as an add-on thing just to kind of help boost whatever else you're doing. It is probably most easily paired though with sleeping methods. And that's pretty much my explanation of the pillow method. Like I said, it's really short, sweet, to the point, and super duper simple. I'm sorry that I haven't posted since the Raven method. Um, if you guys follow any of my other social media, then you will see I have not been doing so well mentally and I have hit a deep depression point and it's been really hard for me to have the motivation to do anything, i.e. I didn't even have the motivation to pull out my light kit, so I'm filming this with the light of my television and you're sitting on my TV stand and all of the clothes I own are currently sitting on my bed. My sleep schedule's a nightmare, but that's about all I can do right now. So if this filming setup shows up again, please don't judge me, please don't be mad. It's kinda all I can do when I have no motivation to even eat dinner. But you guys, remember to eat and take care of yourselves and sleep and have meals and be productive, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to say today. I am did not mean to rhyme. If you guys have not already seen my other videos on shifting, including the Raven Method, all about clones, shifting symptoms, scripts, stuff like that, please check out the link below for my playlist all about shifting videos. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, please click the big red subscribe button below and join the family because this is it. <laughs> shifting and BS. This is what we have here, people. I promise I don't just do shifting videos. I've just been hyper fixating due to my OCD and this is what it's been the last couple months. But I will eventually do new content, I promise. <laughs> but for right now, this is what we've got. <laughs> if you want to be notified of every time that I do upload, especially since my uploading schedule is kind of inconsistent with my mental state being the way that it is, please click the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications every time that I upload. If you're not already following my other social media, please check out the links below to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. You will be able to find updates there about upcoming videos, updates on if I've shifted or had progress with any motivational things, if I've had any methods that have worked or give you guys motivation on shifting or just updates about my life in general. That's also where you can find my stuff to do with Harry Potter or cosplay or anything else that I do on the interwebs. That is pretty much all that I have for today. Thank you for joining me for this very strange video that was forced upon by my poor mental state. <laughs> um, yeah, I told you to subscribe and all that good fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna go um, try to make up with my pillow because I believe I've hurt his feelings. He's giving me a longing look. I don't know if it makes me more or less relatable that I'm just so out of my mind exhausted right now that I'm like using fake accents and talking to my pillow. <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out. So um, I hope that you guys have a good day or night or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Um, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay six feet away from people and shift responsibly. Love you, bye.